Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. That crunching sound you may hear is Popeye. Super hungry little doggy. And we are the RC Sailors. In today's video, we're going to review a full review of this extremely difficult name. It's the Zing Shi Yuk Sang. 668A3 quad. Yeah, and the main reason we picked this up is because check out that Captain America shield on there now. I don't know if you guys follow movies or not, but in like a, a week Captain ago. Captain America is my favorite! And then about a week ago, the new Captain America movie just came out, so that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Just, came just in time for that. Uh, let's take a look and see what comes in the box, and then we will uh, do a full flight review for you. Yeah. We got this on lightake.com for about $23, and I believe this is the one without the camera, right. but I think you can get it with a camera as well. Okay, this should be a quick, easy unboxing. We've got in this bag some prop guards, landing gear, screws to hold it all on, a screwdriver to help with that, and a USB charger. So everything you need comes in this nice little bag. Instructions. Our Captain America white quadcopter. I like this. I'm sure that they're That just makes me smile. I, I, there's no way this is licensed or anything for Captain. That's exactly the shield, though. That is a Captain America shield. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Red, white, and blue little shield. And then, it's very close. Ba boom. A transmitter. Why was it the transmitter white? Should have been to match, but whatever. So that's a pretty basic transmitter. Looks like a fairly basic quad, and the battery should be in there. The battery's mounted underneath this panel, so that's where we'll access it to charge it. That's what we need to do to get it in the air. So let's do that. I'm excited. We've got our Captain America little quadcopter outside. You can see how windy it is because I'm putting it into the wind and the props are just going to town. So who knows how good this is going to fly. It's really windy out. You just, if it doesn't fly well, you could put it on a stick and there's a pinwheel for your garden. Uh, so let's take Captain it, America yeah, pinwheel. Let's take off and see if she'll fly. Alright. Um, transmitter on first is what it should do. And then the quad. Man, that was loud. Uh, we'll see if it binds up, throttle up, throttle down, and it did. So that's great. I'll do a hand takeoff because the grass is so tall. We'll see if it'll fly in the wind. Wow, okay. It's drifting off, which means I need to increase the rates. I cannot fly in that docile of a mode. So let's I think it's the top left. Two beeps, so we're gonna be in a higher rate now. Let's see. That is higher. We can fly in this wind, so that's a little better. Nice. And let's just try rate three. We can fly much faster. Oh wow, the yaw is crazy on this one. Can you see that, Abby? No, because your brightness went crazy on okay. me. All right. <laughs> Check out this crazy yaw. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Look at that go. Look at it go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going was the question. Wow. Is it stuck? No. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, guys. I think he's trying to get it stuck in a tree. It's not a monkey! It just takes off. Well, that's the wind pulling it. Wow. So I think the top right button is flips. So what do you have to do? You press and hold the top right corner and flip. Pick cool. a direction. 
I want you to see this throttle punch. I'm flying at like 20% throttle. Here we go. I'll just do it. It might take off here. Three, two, one. No. <laughs> <laughs> the grass is too tall. Okay, let's try again. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just crazy. I'll do it again. Let's bring it in a little lower for Abby. It's the wind is okay. The wind crazy. is nuts. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Throw punch. It's That's pretty good. pretty good. For this little feathery flyer. So I think if you hit punch in your right stick, uh -huh. that'll do headless mode. Let's give it a shot. That would have come in handy for. Uh... Yeah. All right. It, it looks like red lights are the front and blue is the back. Oh, let right. me see the lights. Can you see them? Nice, I like the lights. Yeah. Okay, let's try headless mode. You say press the right stick? Yeah. Okay. The lights are blinking, so you're probably right. Let's try headless mode. Here we go. I'll give it some y'all and push away. It's kind of doing it. It's choppy, but it's doing it. It's doing it pretty good. Let's try rate three with that. Okay, there's headless mode. <laughs> Look at that thing go. Oh my god. This is really scary. <laughs> Oh, look at it. That is the wackiest thing I've ever seen. Oh, oh gosh. Talk about me and durability. It landed on the rubber mat, though. We'll turn headless mode off. So you can turn the lights off and on. Did you already figure mm, that out? It's one of these trim buttons. This bottom one. And is it right on. or left? I don't know. Okay, let's try. Not right. Let's try left. It's left. Okay. So move that left. And, and then if you had uh, a camera, that this picture and video. would be picture and video. Doesn't yeah. it have return to home too? Is it this one? I want to hit it. Oh. Come on. Is headless still on? Um, I think headless mode might have messed that up pretty bad. It's not blinking that was, though, That was it? wacky. I turned it. Let's just reset it. Turn it on. Turn it on. Throttle up. Throttle down. Okay, so that headless mode, I think, messed it up. I don't bad. think it has returned to home, but We're you can try see. something. Oh, look at that. It's stuck in that position. It didn't set, it didn't set up right because it was stuck going forward. <laughs> nice flat level surface. Let it sit there for a few seconds. Now throttle up, throttle down. I'll do rate two so I have control from the wind. And it's, I think it's messed up. You broke it. I might have broken it. I didn't even get to fly it. Let's see if I can just do this. Oh my gosh. Is it doing anything? There is a road over there. <laughs> he said it's flying away. That's what it's doing. Man, that's a long road. Got the instructions and it said to reset it if it's going nuts, you just Set it on the ground for five to 10 seconds. So let it chill there for a few seconds. Let it chill there for a few seconds. Let it go for 10 seconds, we'll see. Okay, it's been 10 seconds. It did not help, so that was pretty cool, but all right, stop for a second, bring it back. We'll let it stay on the ground for, turn yours off and then turn it on. Don't do the throttle yet. Just let it stay for 10 seconds. Okay, we're trying to reset them by uh, resetting the quad. Abby, give it throttle up and down. There, that, that did it. Now, stop. That's messed up. Yeah, that's what it was doing for me too. There is no headless mode. Oh, no, the lights were not blinking. But it was acting like it was in headless mode. Well, it got stuck flying in one direction. Try it again. Nah, I think we messed it up. I think I messed it up. I don't break quads when I test durability. Hey, I wasn't really testing durability. Just I was just saying. <laughs> I never test durability either. It just happens. I put it in headless mode in rate three, and I think that really messed up the little GPS. No, not even a GPS. The compass inside. And now it's stuck in one, one direction. Good shake. Just gonna give it a good shake. Sometimes you can. Pull both sticks down and to in the same direction together to reset that. But it says to reset it, you just leave it on the ground for five to ten seconds. We've tried every combination that you can possibly try. It just always wants to go that way, like a headless mode stuck in that direction. 
All right, don't leave yet. Don't leave. We just fixed it. Now, this didn't help us at all. I know that sometimes you can push both throttle sticks down in one direction together and it'll reset the little uh, compass yeah, inside. Down and to the right, fixed it. Uh, for this one. So uh, that was the last thing that we tried and it worked. Abby, hit the top left bumper once. Now you're in a higher rate and you should be able to handle this breeze, okay? Abby's in rate two. Now, hold on, before you take off, rate three was the crazy, crazy yaw mode. Rate two is the I can fly in wind and still be flyable mode. Now Abby's got control of it. Let's have some fun. Still fast y'all, isn't it? I was totally wrong about this one being junk. It's actually great for $20. Look at her cyclone power go. Well, you're pretty far away. I don't think people can see your awesome cyclones. One difficulty I could see with this one would be orientation for a new pilot. But what I would say for any new pilots learning to fly is at any point, just push forward on your control sticks. Abby, it's really hard to film you flying so high and directly above our heads. Are you sure? Bring it in. We'll see if it is. Light it down. Okay. Bring it in. Let's see the blinking lights. They're not. That's just because when it was flying, I thought so too. As uh, it flew by, you can't really see the lights unless you're directly under it. Uh, as I was saying, for orientation, you just push forward on the right stick, and if it goes off to the left, then you know it's facing to the left. And that'll uh, always tell you which way forward is. Push forward. Pretty tough little thing, because we've dropped it out of the sky hard. Uh, I'm guilty of uh, messing the compass up, and then we fixed it. Abby likes, uh, she's doing a great job flying it. She just likes to fly really high. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I tried to get it thrown on this one. My brain was dead. Oh, is it good? Yeah. Try to keep it a little closer to us easier for them to see. We can see it just fine. It's a great size quad to see out here day like today, but on the camera, we gotta keep it close for you guys. <laughs> That's why I don't fly close. I like my head. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. Now, when you rotate it, you don't have to give it full yaw like you're doing. You can just give it a little bit of yaw and it won't it won't spin as fast, see? Okay, all right. I, I didn't know if you meant to. There's, that's what I like. That close. People want to see it. I'm really glad that we fiddled around with this and tried to get it in the air again because Turns out, it's pretty awesome. The flips work really well. The different rates are extremely different. You gotta hold it in and give it a direction. As she is a mile in the sky, I will film Abby flying the quad. Too far away. There she's back. Battery's probably too low. If it won't flip, I'd say the battery's low. There, okay. Low battery. Can you see the low lights, the uh, the blinking lights? That means your battery's low. Can you see it? Too sunny. Either way, I'm super glad that I was wrong about this. We messed up the compass. Man, that's just windy. And so both sticks down and to the right will reset your compass. This is a pretty cool $20 Captain America quadcopter. Yeah. It's in the link, uh, link's in the description box below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll have more cheap quads this week to come. See you in the next video. Bye.